we are going to replace the nozzle in a Bamboo Lab A1 or A1 Mini 3D printer. Unlike the machines of the past, this replacement requires no tools, no heating, no cursing, and no burning of your fingers. Let's get right into it. The first thing you'll need is a new Bamboo Lab nozzle. You can order this on BambooLab.com. I will leave a link in the description. Here we are looking at the A1 tool head. This is the same tool head on the A1 Mini. If your tool head is in an inopportune location, you may gently slide it across the linear rail. Unlike other printers that require your nozzle to be hot in order to change it, we are going to do the A1 nozzle cold with the machine powered off. If you don't trust yourself, unplug it just to be sure. The A1 tool head has a simple snap-on cover. The A1 cover rests on two tabs, so we will pivot the cover off this way by getting underneath the front cover with our fingers, putting our thumb here, and simply prying upward. The A1 cover will pop right off. For those of you who are scared, here's a look at what the two tabs look like. Here is those tabs on the cover, and you can see they simply rest inside those slots. And we are just popping the cover off and picking it up off those two slots. Now it's time to replace the nozzle. Let me raise my FlexiSpot desk. If you like this desk, hit the link in my description. This here is a silicon sock or a silicon boot. Under it is your nozzle. This entire unit is effectively your nozzle. You will not be changing just the nozzle. You will be changing this entire unit. Some of you older school printers may find this a little different. Step one, remove this silicon boot. Don't be scared. Just go ahead and get in there and yank it off. Unlike older printers, this silicon boot doesn't pry off downward, it pries off forward. You can see how it's open in the back, solid in the front. With the nozzle exposed, you will spot this little clip right here. It looks almost like a bent paper clip. Take your finger in front of that clip, support your hand on the air duct, and firmly push to the right. This should take very little effort. You will notice the clip has opened. With that clip open, go ahead, grab this hot end, and simply work it down and forward. If you don't run or retract first, you may end up with this, which is filament inside the heat brake and nozzle, all the way down from the throat to the tip. To install the new nozzle, Take that nozzle with the words facing you and the magnet facing right. Turn it right one time. So it will, yes, be sideways. Place it in front of the tool head with a slight angle towards the back. And just work it in. You will actually feel the magnet suck the nozzle into place. Would you look at that? It's sitting there all by itself. Here is the clamp that we opened earlier. Take this plate and push it over the nozzle. Then take this locking clip and squeeze it into place over that plate. Your new nozzle is installed. Time to replace the silicon boot. Unlike many of your older printers, where the sock is pressed down from the bottom, this one is pressed on from the front. I'm going to reach behind the hot end with my thumb on the silicon boot and simply depress it forward. You may actually hear the nozzle snap into place. When it's installed properly, there should be no movement. The sock should be firm. With the new nozzle in place, it's time to install our tool head cover. We will line up these tabs into these notches, fold the cover down, and press it in place. The cover will snap in and you're all set. And we're done. You have successfully replaced your A1 
or A1 mini nozzle.